Hello, staff, and welcome to the October 2021 vodcast brought to you by the Office of Instructional Technology. This month, we'll be talking about custom widgets in Brightspace. The first thing you might be thinking is, well, what exactly is a widget? Widgets are blocks of information on your school or course landing page. One of the most common ones is the announcements area, which of course allows you to share important information with staff and students about events happening at the school or specifically in your class. But there are lots of different widgets that you could choose to add to your course landing page. We'll see the process here in just a moment to edit your landing page and add a new widget. But what if you're scrolling through that list and you think none of those are exactly right? They're not quite what I'm looking to add to my course page. That's where the custom widget is a great option. So let's get out of this presentation and see how to edit your course landing page and how to make a custom widget. Here we are in one of my courses in Brightspace, and you'll see these blocks of information or widgets here. Things like the option to access my Google Workspace, the teacher profile, the announcements mentioned a moment ago, and more. If you scroll to the bottom of your landing page and click on your three dots in the bottom right hand corner, you'll have the option to edit this home page. When I select that, down here at the very bottom on the editors page are the fields for me to add widgets. And I'm currently using the basic layout, which has the wider field on the left and the narrow field on the right. So depending on where I would like to put my widget, I can click on the button on the left or the right. When I select Add Widgets, that's where we get the list for all of the widgets that are currently available. But as we stated a moment ago, maybe you're looking for something really specific and it isn't there. So we're going to talk about how to create your own custom widget. So I'm going to cancel out of this menu. So to create a custom widget, we're actually going to go to our course admin area. If you don't see course admin on your navbar currently, it might be under class tools as well. And then we're going to select widgets from right here at the top. In addition to seeing all of the widgets that were available just a moment ago in the list we saw on the editors page, we also have the button here at the top to create our own widget. When we select it, we have the first tab here, which is the properties, the name of the widget, and the description. These are entirely for your information, so you want to pick a name that will remind you of the purpose of this widget. So let's say I want a series of web links available for my students. So I might name this course web links. I can type in the description or not. I have the option to choose release conditions like who will see this widget or when they might see this widget. But to put in the actual content for the widget, I'm going to select the tab on the right titled content. Now I get a block here to add the information that I might like. I can type in text, I can put in links, I can put in images, I can embed all kinds of different information into this block. But I said that this widget was going to serve the purpose of giving my students access to web links. So various course materials and resources that I'll want them to be able to access at any time, starting with our course syllabus. Once I've typed that, I can simply highlight the words, click on the link option, and paste in the link to the syllabus and click enter. Then I go through and I set up my other links as well. Now that I have all of my course materials added here, I'm going to click on save and close. Now that I've created my widget, I want to add it to my home page. So I can click on the tab up here that says home pages and then select the one that says it's currently active in order to be taken back to the editor's window to add my new widget. So I'd like my widget to be over here on the right hand side. So I select add widgets and now I need to remember that I named it course web links, select and click add. And then I can drag that widget to any position where I would like it to be before I click save and close. Now when I return to my course home, we'll see that I have my web links over here on the right hand side where I placed it at the top among the other widgets. So what could I use this custom widget for? Well, just as I did a list of web links, 
Included in those, you might have your school website or a teacher website if you have one. The course syllabus can definitely be linked there. Any other lesson resources that students might need to access and a class or school newsletter could easily be linked there. Teachers who frequently use emojis in their class might like to have some sort of an emoji key available so that students will know what the commonly used emojis indicate. For example, a pencil might be used to indicate that they're going to be asked to write. A book might be used to indicate that they're going to be uh, asked to read as a part of this lesson. You could put your Google Meet link with directions for how students should access it or when that link will be used. And lastly, important dates for the unit or quarter could also be included in that custom widget. Thank you all so much for watching our October vodcast. If you have any questions, please contact the Office of Instructional Technology. And you can find us on Twitter at AACPSOIT, or you can find our YouTube channel, AACPSOIT.